Hello students, this is Dr. Dan Baker with a logistical video about if you're struggling to get your um, work into a single PDF file to be uploaded to Gradescope. Uh, I'm just going to share with you some tools, some workflow. Now depending on your um, type of device, uh, if you're working say on a Chromebook, you'll probably need to find all online options for these things or apps you can download via the Chrome store. Uh, whether you're on a PC, whether you're on uh, a Mac, there's going to be kind of different software available in each place. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is essentially using um, PC-based software uh, that you could do this work. So um, the things that you'll need to do or that you could do as part of doing your work. Now if you have a printer at home, that might be the simplest thing. I didn't add that to this list. That if you have a printer, you could simply print the entire assignment, hand write the entire assignment, you could use an app on your smartphone to convert it into a single PDF and then upload that to Gradescope. Okay, that may be the simplest format overall, but if you don't have a printer at home and you're kind of more trying to keep things digital, um, these will help you work through that. Okay, so the things you might need to do on PDFs is either write on the PDFs. Um, when I'm talking about here, write is really like the more annotate type on the PDFs. There's going to be some other tools for writing on them. Actually, the tool I'll show you today, you can use it as a pen tool. Uh, as well. It's also handy if you've handwritten your work say on paper and then want to add that to the pages of your submitted assignment you might want to paste copied images uh, into a PDF. And then the third thing you might want to do say that you've created multiple PDFs in your workflow you might want to merge those you will need to merge those into a single file for your upload. Okay so I'm going to talk today about what's called PDF Exchange Viewer as I've used the software for quite a few years, and it does one and two, typing on PDFs and also adding pasted images um, really well. Here is the website for PDF Exchange Viewer. Uh, it's written by a company called Trackersoft. Now, it's a little bit older one. Um, they do have some other versions available on their, on their, um, under their products list. But it's the one that I like I said, it's the one that I've used and I know it's it's quite solid. And the key thing you're looking for, whether you use PDF Exchange Viewer or something else, is this ability to annotate. Okay, so that's really the key feature that you're looking for is the ability to annotate. I'll also paste this link um, in the uh, into the description below the YouTube video and also over into our Canvas page. So here is the software, PDF Exchange Viewer. I realize there are quite a few menu bars up here. You can hide a good number of those. The important ones are right through here. These are all the annotation tools for basically writing on top of your PDF. And so what we can do here is if you wanted to type onto your PDF, I can use the typewriter tool and I can just type right on here. Oh, the topic covered, let's see. We had um, some calculus. Now there isn't, a, there isn't a, um, a spell check tool as part of this, just as a heads up. So you could type it outside and copy it in if you wanted to. But calculus, and we had some right triangle, trig, etc. Right, and if the font size is too big, you come up here and you could change that. You can change its color if you want to. You change that to black or blue or whatever you'd like. But basically you can just type right onto the PDF. You do need to save it when you're done, but it would be right there. Now this also has the functionality to write directly on a PDF. If you happen to be on say a PC tablet, there's a pen tool right up here. It's currently selected for red. I'm with a mouse right now, so this isn't gonna be very good writing. But essentially you can write directly on here. And so you could handwrite your work. You could then come through if you wanted to and select that and change its color. You can change its line thickness, uh, a bunch of different options there. But you do have that ability to write directly on a PDF using a stylus if you'd like. So that would be a way to do your self-reflections right in PDF Exchange Viewer. Now if you wanted to use this to add in your assignment content as well, let me scroll down here to a problem. So say you worked this problem and you did it by hand, you took a picture with any kind of a camera, got that into a digital format. Let's say that this is what your work looks like um, coming out of your camera. You can either use the snapshot tool within PDF Exchange Viewer or any screenshot tool on your device and basically grab a hold of this work. They just copied it and then you can come back over to your assignment and using this tool here, I'm gonna hit Control V, which is paste, and it just brings this in as an image. Now once again, you save this as a PDF, 
and there is your work, right? Obviously not the same problem that I pasted in as this problem here. Um, but yeah, that's how you could do both your self-reflection and also your um, handwritten work and then assemble it all as a single PDF. Um, if you are looking to merge PDFs, and this would be more if you did your self-reflection um, separately from your handwritten work, uh, I know there's a ton of tools online. There's definitely um, apps and things that'll do that as well, but you're just looking to merge PDFs. So at least these will give you the proper terms to look for depending on your, on your device. You want to write on, which is basically looking at annotate. Um, you want to paste copied images. This is probably, in my, in my findings, the least common functionality. Um, so if you're not able to find getting this to work, essentially your alternative is to do your self-reflection as a separate page from your handwritten problems, and then you can merge those later. Okay, so quite a few options. Um, we need your work to be legible. We need to, to take a look at it and see your effort. We need to see what components you include in that work. We're not looking for it to be 100% correct, and it doesn't need to be perfect artwork. Okay, so please don't recopy your homework for your submitted copy. Just make it legible, get it to a form where we can read it, we can grade it. Um, you also then have a, a catalog of all your work, and we'll all move forward. Thanks for your attention today.